Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It might actually be time to save some packs, even though it's June, on FC24. Now believe me, I know it sounds crazy, and it's also so late in the year that it's like, is it really worth it? But are we really packing anything right now with the Make Your Mark promo? These cards seem basically impossible to get, and all of the leaks continuing with the Icon players coming this Friday are crazier and crazier. Just keeps getting better every single day with more and more players leaked. Sounds like there's a total of 35 players incoming. Yeah, we're going to discuss it today. Look at the content that dropped yesterday and some Gamble Tuesday packs that might be coming today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you are new. The grind is back on the menus, guys. Yesterday's Monday content was the player picks that we wanted. The 82-plus player pick is the specific one that we wanted to see back. It's the exact same one with just two rare goals and six commons. Eight golds is all you need inside of this. The menu grind is good and it is back because you can get a lot more player picks out of this than you could with the 81 plus player pick. Of course, we have the 84 times 10 that is there as well for the crafting. Uh, it's great, it's good, honestly. Your, it feels like your exchanges and all the other packs that you can get for non-rares from, they just go so much further with this 82 plus pick than they did with the 81 plus. Even though it's a one of four, this 82 plus pick is so clear. I've got way more 82s, 3s, 4s, 5s, and 6s in my club now to go and do other SBCs and upgrade packs to really kind of like restock the club. That's the best part about the 82 plus pick. It feels like you can kind of have a stocked club again and get some of that fodder. And even though we're talking about saving packs today, I'm still ripping through the 82 plus picks every single day because it's kind of replenishing the club from honestly how it was sucked dry from this last week with the 81 plus and the craftability of the menus not being very good now we did have another upgrade player pick i guess yesterday the 84 plus can we just get an 86 plus i think i've asked for this like two or three weeks in a row we get the 84 one week and the 85 the next the 85 is so clear of this one the requirements of this 84 plus pick you have to turn in two 85s and then the rest of it's an 83 squad so you know, it's there if you want to do it. I mean, technically, when you look at the price, it's like 14,000 coins to do. If you have a couple 85s, it seems kind of worth it. With the 82 plus pick, it's easy to get that 82 ratings to fill out the rest of the SBC, right? To get the 83 rating. So I haven't done any of these yet. I don't think it's really that worth it. I would focus on the 82 plus for sure. Uh, but most of my 85s are going to be going into this team league player picks to be able to stock up on those for doing like the 85 seven and the 84 times 10 each and every day with that team league requirement. The 82 plus pick really, really helps out with that. So yeah, I'm not doing as many of the 84 pluses, but it is there if you want to. We did have one player SBC yesterday as we do get one every Every single day it is a link to hinkapi right an ecuadorian center back pacho he's got decent playstyle pluses low high work rates and yeah it's a solid card and it's also cheap so there's not a whole lot of complaints here just for the fact that it's just kind of mid it's it's not great it's not terrible it is just mid now ecuador did lose their first game two to one so, um, not a great start for the upgrades there for him, and I don't even know if he played. I have to go check and look. Oh, he's got a Copa Maker Mark Plus, so he must have played. He got the upgrade there, so he has the Plus version. So, that's nice at least, but honestly, for most, I don't think that was super crazy. Now, the part of content yesterday that was a little bit of a surprise in a good way that we actually like to see is objective packs that were dropped related to Euro and Copa Evolutions. I like this. You know what? It's basically... Go in and play some squad battles games with some certain cards in your squad, and you get some good packs. And 83 times 20, uh, which we're going to get one of those today as well, but 83-3, you go down the list here, you've got some player picks, you have an 84-4, an 87 double, and an 87-3 are the best two packs of this objective, which, to be honest, playing like 10 to 15 games, most of it being in squad battles, you could AFK while getting some other objectives done and some EVOs. Honestly, it doesn't sound too bad. It just takes a little bit of time to get it done, but these packs might actually be really, really worth it. Now, there's a lot of confusion with this objective as well because how do you know what counts and what doesn't count for it? This is the part that's a little confusing. This international connection piece all the way at the bottom, um, you have to have three Euro and two Copa Festival of Football Evo players in your starting 11. Um, and actually, you can combine all these other ones with this one. So if you just start off in a squad with having three Euro and two Copa, that'll kind of, uh, you'll be completing all of these at one time, which is very, very nice. That's just one thing to point out. But um, you can only have a fully completed Evo 
or the base version of the cards. Let me just show you here, right? Basically, go to your club and you can search. Um, and you can see here that you've got, if you search under the Festival of Football Euro Design, I've got my completed James Madison fully evolved attacker academy evo for madison right and then i've got the base olise basically using any of these cards that have this car design either the fully finished evo or the base they count for the objective right same thing with copa cards if you go look at those kind of same thing a fully completed evo counts and then also the base one counts but if you have an in progress evo right right now i'm not doing any of these evos they're not in progress but if there was one that was in progress it does not count towards the objective i think a lot of people are assuming that that would count it does not so you have to have three uh, Euro and two Copa completely finished um, Evos or basic Evos, base Evos to get this done. So it's a little bit confusing, but if you put uh, those five Evo cards in there, Festival Football, five of them, right? And then you go put another Evo in for a sixth player. You could also work on the Mojica card at the same time, as well as have maybe some of the objectives under like the, uh, what is it? The Chile and Brazil, um, this getting done too. So you could kind of make your squad battles time worth it. If you're looking for some XP, try to get some other objectives done, you know, a few games and squad battles to get some Evos done, to get those objectives done. It's kind of busy work and kind of annoying, but it might be worth it to stack up, especially those higher rated packs for what is coming. So I wanted to work on that and talk about that a little bit because I think the in progress evolution part was kind of confusing people. It has to be a base or a fully finished Evo for it to count for that objective. Now let's talk about our daily upgrades, right? Because we got new upgrades dropping on this game every single night. And today's upgrades are actually really interesting because Spain got the W yesterday. Um, and this has prompted the first four play style plus additions for a uh, nation, not a club, a nation getting three wins in the Euros or Copa America. So Danny Olmo was given the Trivella play style plus. He went from 500 thousand coins during the game on stream we were saying to sell this card because it just seemed like way too expensive honestly for the hype of just a playstyle plus upgrade right he is down down to 380k after that playstyle plus was given i think some people were hoping that he would have had finesse plus uh dropped on his card still a very good looking card but he is down a good amount in price and then pedri is another card that got upgraded of course with that fourth play style plus and i think they gave him long ball pass that card looks unreal still extinct at 1.4 mil the the list of cards that are extinct is growing and it needs to be fixed up so those are the only two upgrades from yesterday of course the other game from yesterday with italy and croatia absolutely crazy game that last minute goal was honestly wild i felt so bad for any of you guys that are croatian and especially for like modric modric was player the man of the match um and uh had to stand there with his trophy after all sad and drawing that game uh big pain right Croatia now have a very slight chance. It's, it's looking grim for them to potentially get out as a third place group and continue in the Euros. It's not looking good for them. Uh, but here is one of the first opportunities we see or the first times we see of a card that is a live card get absolutely destroyed in price because it's looking like their nation is no longer going to get upgrades. Gavardio went from 220k up to 300,000 coins during the game after Modric scored. And uh, Croatia was winning 1-0. And then up until, the, you know, what was it, the 90th plus 8 or 9 or whatever, when Italy scored, uh, he was up at like 300,000 coins. And then Italy scored, and this card absolutely tanked. So this card is considerably now not a live item unless somehow Croatia are able to get into the next round as a third place team. Again, not a very high likelihood of that, but this is just kind of what could happen. It started to happen yesterday uh, with Chiesa. And with Dina Tally, those cards were starting to drop off like mad. And I knew this was going to happen. Chiesa did drop off a good amount. He was like 2.6, 2.7 mil all day yesterday. Went down to 2.2, 2.1 during the game when they were losing. Bounced straight back up to 2.6. And now he's 2.1 million again. He's probably going to rebound up a little bit because he's still live. All right. Italy is still second place in the group. They're moving on to the next round of the competition. Uh, but that's just something I wanted to mention. That post-game sell-off, even for the winning teams, is happening now this is also mad this just happened this full-time whistle just blew a couple of minutes ago brazil just drew in their first round of copa america group stage games so this is bruno guimarães he must be cursed man right remember during the world cup brazil 
dropped in price a ton after they lost a little early, right? Bruno Guimaraes had a live card then. He's got a live card now, and this card was 900 k plus yesterday and he's tanking right now he is 775,000 coins i think some of the other brazilians are down too uh martinelli how much is he 568 he's down a little bit where's uh militao militao is 4.3 oh my goodness he was 5 million yesterday wow yeah so that's crazy again another great example to sell in the hype jan Clodo is down as well 445,000 coins. I don't know if he even played. He wasn't starting at right back. I have to go check the squads, but maybe that's why he's dropping because he may have not even played from that game last night. So that was pretty wild. As we take a look at the PTG tracker, um, let me look at finished matches here. Round one, right? You've got Brazil and Costa Rica. It was a nil-nil game. So no goals for Rivaldo. He's probably dropping. Um, nothing for Rodrigo as well. Not a good day for the Brazil live cards. They are definitely dropping in price. And then you did have Colombia beating Paraguay. That was the other game uh, just a couple hours ago. So you got your Luis Diaz getting a plus one sometime today for his, um, you know, win there. And I do believe that Mojica started. So he might be in for a chemistry boost as well the objective card that is out right now so that's the situation with the live cards there's going to be a few more upgrades this morning namely for the colombian cards that are deserving of it and luis diaz but yeah those brazilian cards are going to be dropping now definitely keep an eye on them that bruno guimarães is one that i'd be very interested because people are still going to believe in brazil brazil to get out of the group and to get upgrades but for right now he is down bad and he is being panic sold how much is he 770k I wouldn't be surprised if he goes a little bit lower, but that's maybe an opportunity to kind of watch those cards early on in the, in the morning hours today on Tuesday just to see if they bounce back a little bit. So again, it's just a good reminder to sell in the hype. Now, let's talk about today's games that are in action. Big games today, right? We've got France, Poland, Netherlands, Austria as the early slate, Denmark, Serbia, and England, Slovenia, right? It is all about these groups. The, the matches are played at the same time, um, and it's all about who advances to the next round. Honestly, when I'm, I'm looking at a lot of these cards, there's not a whole lot of Path to Glory upgrades that can actually take place, right? If France win today, that would only be their second win, so it's not a third win, um, a reward kind of um, threshold for them there. Even for some of the Dutch cards, it's more about the make your mark cards for a lot of these, because a lot of these teams have only won one game. Petit is still in line for some goals, of course. Does he need one or two? It's one or two goals Petit needs to get that uh, next upgrade in the fourth play style plus. And then same thing for England. I know a lot of us have Joe um, Gomez, maybe you got Palmer or Kyle Walker or Trent Alexander-Arnold or this Pickford, right? I don't think any of those cards have a chance of being upgraded today unless it's a make your mark. Really, the best chance of cards for getting upgraded is somebody having assists or goals or clean sheets uh, that could kind of boost them towards a rating upgrade uh, based off of the make your mark upgrades. But for a lot of the PTGs, it's not a game three win for them where they could actually hit that play style plus upgrade for at least the teams that are playing today. But of course, a lot of hype around the country is playing today. So definitely keep an eye on the cards in the market. And there will be absolutely opportunities just like we're seeing tonight with the Brazilian cards going down and some of those Italian cards to buy in the panic sale after the game. There'll be great opportunities to do that. I actually still have a petite card. Hopefully he rise up a little bit more and I will be selling that in the hype of today's game. 100% because you never know what could happen. It's the Euros, stuff goes crazy. So that's kind of what I wanted to mention there with the cards and the upgrades and the games that are happening today. Of course, take it always in the pre-game. I just got to mention this one more time. Oh, guess not. I was going to look at the Chiesa card. If he's actually 2.1 mil, that's a really tempting price because it's still an insane Chiesa card and Italy are still in tournament, but they did not win yesterday. So it's not even a progression towards the upgrade at all now let's move on to the bigger things at hand guys talking about saving packs in june you saw i had 284 times tens saved up i think that is actually what i'm going to try to do every single day i finished i opened the 650k pack yesterday terrible terrible decision but you know what i said i was going to do it i did it it gave me enough fodder to go and finish off darwin nunez i did the tim Weah sbc as well and I did the icon player pick just one time, probably only going to do it one time. I got Luis Hernandez El Matador, so I got a great to the game icon, which was nice. But man, the pack weight is just not good, which is driving me to want to save packs, to be completely honest, because of all the stuff that is being leaked. I mean, the 84 times 10s being here is really, really nice as well, uh, because whatever SPC comes out on Friday, we're going to be able to craft it if it's a really good one, if it's one of the icons or the heroes, right, with all the ones that have been leaked. 
I think that's another thing that this will help out with. So I'm going to plan to save two 8410s every single day, open one of them to keep some fodder, you know, putting back into the club. Maybe if I end up crafting another 91 plus encore pick, I guess I could, but I'm going to keep rinsing through 82 plus picks. 83 plus team of the weeks to get some of those in my club and then that is also going to allow me to do whatever other SBCs. I'm going to do the 85.7 and stash that for Friday as well um, and then if there's any other SBCs that come out today like we'll talk about in a second I think the 82 plus pick does allow you to do that and if there's any other player SBCs that you want to do as well like I still want to do um, Sergeant just to have him. I would like to do Benucci as well but they're both pretty cheap so I think just the 82 pluses and 184 times 10 per day will allow you to be able to craft through that a little bit in the menu and then you can still save packs at the same time. So let's look at the leaks because yesterday we had three main ones, right? Well, we've got 35. That is the new number that has just been tweeted a couple of hours ago from one of the leakers who must have all the names for this promo. Of course, we have the big names like R9, Ronaldinho, and Cruyff. But in addition to that, there's a whole bunch of icons. He says we should see more than 35 players. That's crazy. That is honestly wild. That really is giving me Golasso vibes from that promo that happened, what was that, like two months ago now? The Golasso promo that was fully icons and heroes. And I know earlier I had mentioned that I thought there might have been an opportunity for other promo cards to be released alongside of these icons. But now that I hear that there's 35 promo cards coming, it might be just like Golasso where it's only icons and heroes and packs. And honestly, to answer the question of, Nate, is it even worth saving packs for? Will these cards be packable? Think about the Golazo promo. Those cards were decently packable, right? Whenever EA does a full icon or a full hero promo, they actually make them semi-packable, which is a really, really good thing. And I think that bodes well for these cards, which had decent pack weight as well, the greats of the games, the first time they were out during Path to Glory. So these are the new leaks that have been out in the last day. Mateus is coming as a German greats of the game icon card. That card will be absolutely nuts. I haven't used the Mateus card this year, but a lot of people have even used him at center back. I know he's a little bit shorter, but a I'm going to get still three play style pluses on these cards because they're live. And I know that might seem like a little less hype for some people, but most of these um, nations are going to be able to get the goals, hopefully, by the time that these are released, because I don't think they're going to be kind of like backtracking in terms of counting the goals that have already been scored in previous games. I think it's honestly going to be from when these cards or drop are dropped going forward, unless EA changed something from it. That's the only question mark that I have with this for sure. Mateus is a big name. Moving up the list, we have three of the biggest French icons coming in this promo. Vieira is the first one. Just wow, right? What a card for Vieira. He's going to be absolutely insane. Again, I don't even know what kind of dynamic he's going to have, but the French cards look perfect for this uh, icon design. Another thing that just makes this hype is because this is the best icon design of the entire year. It is absolutely incredible. So Vieira is in this promo as well. It, it gets better. Zidane, man. Zidane is getting another card. What's up with this pace stat here? We need something better than that for sure. But that's an incredible, incredible top tier card going to be released here soon. Again, perfect for this card design, even with this little bit of color on the... Uh, Predicted stats, dynamic image here, predicted dynamic image and rating and all that. Zidane is leaked. He's getting a card. That one's going to be expensive. Let's be completely honest. Fernando Torres is coming as a great to the game icon as well. Um, and every time these leakers are tweeting out these cards, like the post that they included on, they're like, the names don't even slow down from here. Like it keeps getting crazier, right? Thierry Henry is coming as a live card as well. Like what? He had the full birthday card a little while back. He had the two versions, right? A lot of these yesterday on the market, if you take a look, at the prices uh actually yes we i clicked on footbin i would have maybe rather you foot, used foot.gg for this because we found there was issues with the graphs yesterday they weren't like up to date but anyways this Thierry on 1.9 million coins if you look at his price yesterday he was 2.1 went all the way down to 1.9 where he kind of is now the other Henri, which is the weak foot one i believe was how much yesterday he was 2.3 mil and uh, now he's 2.1. So there's still a lot of prices dropping on these cards. And I would expect that to happen if, well, not even if, when more icons are leaked. Gerd Muller is one of the latest leaks that we have had. It's another German card. So we've got um, Muller and we've got Mateus. That's pretty dope. We've got Maldini as well. I think Maldini is the latest leak. Another insane promo card for him. He's actually had a decent amount of uh, icon versions this year. Maldini has, right? Because he had a Future Stars or a Foot Birthday, one of the two. Yeah, Future Stars. And then he had the two versions for Dynasty. 
But this card was mental. I remember when it first came out uh, with Quick Step as a center back. We were like, this guy's going to be insane. He was five, six million coins. Now he's a milli. I'm sure he was dropping off yesterday as well uh, due to this leak. And I think that's the latest leak that we have right now. But there's just crazy. Like when you look at this list of players and the fact that there's just 35 coming in total, we're going to get some more leaks today. I would definitely watch out for those posts. It's going to impact, you know, think about like, other heroes, like maybe Ginola. Now, of course, players that have already gotten a great to the game, like, you know, the Dean Tally, the Petite, those cards, they're safe, right? Because they're not going to get another one. They've already got one, you know, that sort of thing. But uh, other cards that are on the list, again, it looks like it's from Euro and from Copa Nations only. So you think about Eto, a lot of people asking about him. I don't think he's getting a card in this promo. It, it seems like EA does not want to give him a card. Maybe there is some issues going on there with what EAC him doing allegedly uh, IRL with some stuff and, and kind of like a Ben Yedder situation. They just don't want to get involved in that. So I don't know. That's not my decision to make. That's just us guessing based on the fact that he has not gotten a promo card uh, this year. But like he's not going to be included in this promo, right? It's going to be all Copa America or Euros based. But guys, it looks nuts. And that's, again, why I think... Yeah, the 82 plus grind is great, and it's really not a time where you're like, oh yeah, let's save packs right now, because there's live cards in packs, but there's even better live cards coming, it looks like, and those icons, again, have some of the best chances to upgrade. When you look at some of these prices, like even though Vidic got the phantom upgrade, there's a chance for him today, if, if Serbia score one more goal, um, he could go up to a 98, which would be mad. Hopefully, EA would actually upgrade him. Um, you know, you've got Rivaldo that's dropping right now, but there's still upgrades potential for him. Dalglish, it's kind of done and over with. Um, Haji, Suker, I mean, yesterday for Suker kind of ended his run as well, but the hype of these icons is crazy, and the heroes as well, because they just upgrade off of goals, and everybody wants goals. So that's why I'm starting to save some packs, especially the bigger ones that you can get from objectives. Um, maybe some rivals rewards uh, towards the middle to end of this week as well might be a decent shout there. Now, we talked about that enough. Let's move into today's content on Tuesday, because even though we're talking about saving packs, there's probably a pack dropping today that really is not going to be worth saving and it's from the upgrade section because it's just kind of a gamble tuesday type of pack right last tuesday we had the 92 plus festival of football upgrade which i think was just make your mark and greats of the game cards i don't remember if there were ptgs i think there were ptgs included in that yeah there were definitely ptgs included in that as well yes 100 percent. and then we had the make your mark team one guaranteed upgrade i would imagine tomorrow we have team two of this i don't unless i've missed it i don't know if i've seen ea add new packs to the code for team number two for like a guaranteed pack i think we've only seen um yeah i'm trying to i'm clicking through some of this the packs right now these are all store packs make your mark week one guarantee yeah, even this one says make your mark team one or make your work team one player so i think they need to update some pack code here in the next day or two the real question is for this 92 festival football upgrade is this going to get updated in the pack code today and then refreshed? I hope that it does um, because the PTG pack code from this last week, if you guys remember, was actually pretty good. So if we have another chance at doing this again today, even with more make your mark cards and packs, I would do it because that was a really solid SBC and I would be super down to do it again. I mean, it was only 85,000 coins last week, which is, it was phenomenal. Look at the number of upvotes, a thousand thumbs up on that SBC, crazy. And then the 90 plus tots is refreshing today as well. I do not think this is an up, uh, a worth it upgrade pack, but it is there if you want to try for a team of the season because it's all of the tots cards, it's only 90 plus, so it's not very good. It's that 92 plus festival of football that we would be interested in today. And if they do release that SBC again, it was an 84 and 85 rated squad. So we're looking at that low tier fodder. If you invested in 85s, today could be a day where they do go up a decent amount because usually on a Wednesdays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, that's when you start to see those cards moving a bit because you have more of the cheaper upgrade packs, right? On Sunday, we had the icon pick, which was more expensive than expected. And then today we kind of have the cheaper stuff, the gamble Tuesday vibes, right? The 90 plus, the 92 plus, um, festival of football pack so that's one thing i would say 84 to 86 rated could be moving today on the market if you did want to invest there and then we should be getting another player sbc we'll pull up the graphic again uh because you know this graphic's been basically all over the place recently we've been checking it every single video um yesterday of course we had pacho so hey now we've got gray sinistera we've got gabrielle and montiel so when are we getting Gabrielle? When are we getting Montiel is the question. Maybe one of those comes today. Hopefully it does. And the last thing is, there's a free pack that probably everybody's getting today if you've done a daily login every single day. 
Cheeky 83 times 20 is going to be dropped in because today is day five of the Festival Football Daily Login. So an 84 double and an 83 times 20. If you're not crafting any SBCs at the moment, just add it to your pack stash, to be completely honest. Like for me, that's a little tempt, uh, tempting for me to open because there is still a couple player SBCs that I would like to do. Namely the Sergeant. I really don't think I'm going to do Solbosly because I mean, yeah, he's good enough to go to my team, but I got other guys that I'd like to use and I don't want to just add another player to my squad with fodder to use that I just necessarily don't need to use and I can save a few more packs. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do Benucci and Sergeant and then yeah, I probably open that 83 times 20 just to open it. But man, I opened that 650k pack yesterday and I forget who I got from it. I got Broha looking through the players, Broha, Ozken, and Charity. Like it was really, really bad guys. So yeah, that's kind of the state of the account and trading wise, I'm, I'm being more careful today. Argentina play late. So I'm probably going to try to sell the Julian Alvarez in the hype. Hope he goes above 800k. I did pick up a Danny Olmo for 362 because I was like, hold on a second. This guy was 400,000 coins. Hopefully he goes back up a little bit, but um, I don't know how much he's going to go up because the market right now doesn't seem to be too scared because these cars are still live, still have a lot of hype. Yeah, he's 380, 390. Um, but at the same time, with all the icons and all that stuff that is being leaked, I'm kind of leaning towards the being a little more cautious side of things than being risky. But I love me some rare cards. I love me some flips. So this Kiesa might be calling my name for 2 million coins because that's really, really low. And you guys know that the post-game sell-off is always the best time to be looking into some of these cards. Last thing I'll say, EA, update some freaking price ranges today, all right? Kuman, Pedri, some of these guys have been extinct now for a week. Fix up, upgrade these price ranges, okay? Let these people use these cards, especially now that they've got the new PlayStyle Pluses for the Pedri, uh, the Kuman is got he got an upgrade right yeah i think he got an upgrade he's still 380k so hopefully that fixes up today and we have those guys on the game i finished off i think i mentioned it, i finished off the darwin sbc so oh man we didn't even look at some of the uruguayan uh and the tyler adams upgrade yesterday as well these upgrades tyler adams looks unbelievable um can't wait for the usa to get a third win hopefully down the line this car will go crazy and this benton court i mean poof what an item he is after his plus one from Uruguay's win. What an item, honestly. That's all I can say about there. We've got the Uruguayan Mad Lads in the midfield and Darwin. This is the most Uruguayan cards I've ever had in my squad. So we got Darwin done. Uh, we have Bentancourt and Fede Valverde. Team's looking nice. Team's looking fun. I just have so many cards. I don't know who to use. And that's just another sign that it's like basically end game ultimate team. So I've yapped for long enough. But I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. Hopefully a 92 plus festival of footback football pack does come and we'll be looking out for more leaks watching the market and the live upgrades happening after today's euros and copa games so if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new see you guys on twitch stream that link's down below in the description catch you guys there it's been nathan account peace out